Binary, octal, and hexadecimal are all number systems used by computers today. Though they're based on the same principle, they all have different strengths and applications. So, what distinguishes these number systems? Before we discuss binary, octal, and hexadecimal, we have to discuss place value number systems. These number systems are based off of the Hindu Arabic numeral system and is used by the current decimal system today. Essentially, place value number systems use a finite and defined amount of digits to represent all possible integers. For example, in the decimal system, the digits 0 to 9 can represent all of the positive integers. This works by having a base, which in decimals case is 10, and then having each digit represent a multiple of a power of that base. This has an advantage that each integer has exactly one representation, as opposed to systems like Roman numerals, where an integer can be represented in more than one way. To illustrate place value notation, we'll use the example of 425 in base 10, or decimal. 5 is in the 1 spot, because the first power of 10 is 10 to the 0th power, which is 1. 5 times 1 is 5, so 5 gets added to the total for the number. Next is 2. 2 is in the 10 spot, because the second power of 10 is 10 to the first power, which is 10. 2 times 10 is 20, and 20 gets added to the total. Finally, 4 is in the 100 spot, because the third power of 10 is 10 squared, which is 100. 4 times 100 is 400, and that gets added to the total, and so on. Binary, octal, and hexadecimal use this system as well. The difference, though, is in the base. Instead of being base 10, like the decimal system, binary is base 2, oct is base 8, and hexadecimal is base 16. Accordingly, binary only uses the digit 0 to 1, octal uses the digit 0 to 7, and hexadecimal uses the digit 0 to 9, as well as the letters A to F to represent 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. That's it. They all use the same system as decimal. I also feel like mentioning that unary, or base 1, is also a place value number system. It only uses one digit, so it's a tally system. The number of digits in a number is the number. Now, for any given place value number system, as the base gets bigger, the library of digits it can draw from also gets bigger. However, the number of digits that it takes to represent a given number goes down. For example, in binary, it takes 12 digits to represent the number 4095, while it only takes 3 in hexadecimal. However, the disadvantage of using hexadecimal is that there's a lot of digits that you can use to represent a number, and you have to remember them all. In contrast, in binary, you only have to remember two digits, 0 and 1. In order to clarify and strengthen your intuitions about binary, octal, and hexadecimal, we're going to look at some examples for each. We'll start with binary. In the number 101 in binary, the first 1 is in the 1 spot, because the first power of 2, 2 to the 0, is 1. 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 gets added to the total. Next, the 0 is in the 2's place, because the second power of 2, 2 to the 1, is 2. 0 times 2 is 0, so nothing gets added to the total. Finally, the second 1 is in the 4 spot, because the third power of 2, 2 squared, is 4. 1 times 4 is 1, and 1 gets added to the total, which would be 5 in base 10. Now, we'll look at an example from hexadecimal. In the number 3FD in hexadecimal, D is in the 1 spot, because the first power of 16 is 16 to the 0th power, which is 1. Now, here D represents 13, and 13 times 1 is 13, so 13 gets added to the total. Next, F is in the 16th spot, because the second power of 16 is 16. Now, F, which is 15, times 16 is 240, so 240 gets added to the total. Last, 3 is in the 256th spot, because the third power of 16 is 256. 3 times 16 is 768, and that gets added to the total, which would be 1021 in base 10. Finally, our last example, octal. In the octal number 354, 4 is in the 1 spot, 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 gets added to the total. Next, 5 is in the 8th spot, 5 times 8 is 40, and 40 gets added to the total. Last. 3 is in the 64th spot, because the third power of 8 is 64. 3 times 64 is 192, and 192 gets added to the total, which would be 236 in base 10. With these examples out of the way, we can now discuss why we would use any particular number system. First, why would we use binary? As you probably experienced, binary isn't really readable by humans. However, it's really useful for computers and data storage because it can encode all numbers into two states, on and off. 
Now, when it comes to storing data, these two states can be anything. On a piece of paper, a black dot could be on and a white dot could be off, which is essentially how QR codes work. It could also correspond to a bump or a valley on a physical surface, which is how CDs work, or a powered or unpowered circuit. In fact, binary has the advantage that it can be transmitted wirelessly using high and low frequencies, an advantage not found in other number systems. In terms of actual computing, computers contain millions of transistors, which are essentially electrical switches. These transistors can be either on or off, which correspond to the ones and zeros of binary. In all, binary makes it much easier to store and transmit data. Because of this, they're used for pretty much everything in computing. For example, every primitive type in Java is represented by a binary number. Characters are 8-bit integers, and booleans are 1-bit integers. Now, a joke. Do you get it? Depending on how long it took you to get this joke, or even realize it was a joke without me telling you, really illustrates that binary, even with small numbers, is really difficult for humans to parse. I'll leave the meaning of this joke as an exercise to the viewer, and move on to hexadecimal. As discussed, hexadecimal has a base of 16, which makes it easier for humans to parse because it has more digits. One of the reasons for this is its length. In contrast to the long strings of ones and zeros in binary, hexadecimal numbers are short, even shorter than decimal. Again, while it takes four digits to represent the number 9999 in decimal, hexadecimal can count all the way up 65,535 with the same amount of digits. This is because the base is big and there are more digits to choose from. Because humans are already familiar with the new symbols in hexadecimal, namely the letters A through F, hexadecimal codes are easier to remember than binary codes. In addition, hexadecimal converts easily to binary because 16, the base of hexadecimal, is also a power of 2. Because 16 is 2 to the 4th power, each hexadecimal digit encodes 4 bits, or binary digits, of information. Fun fact, 4 bits is called a nibble. Because text, or specifically ASCII characters, are stored in 8-bit integers, using 8 binary digits, which is also called a byte, it only takes 2 hexadecimal digits to represent all 256 ASCII characters. Another use of hexadecimal is HTML and CSS color codes, mostly because they need to be easily remembered by humans. These color codes need to encode the red, green, and blue values of a given pixel from 0 to 255, which is 24 bits of information. Because of this, hexadecimal color codes have six digits. An example is FFFFFF, which is the background color of this slide, just white. Finally, octal. Octal was used for the same reason as hexadecimal. It was somewhat easier to parse and could convert well to binary because 8 is 2 to the third power. Because of this, one octal digit encodes three bits of information, as opposed to hexadecimals four. This property was useful in early computing, when three-bit numbers were more widely used. However, three bits doesn't cleanly divide eight bits. With the byte becoming the standard for things like ASCII text, hexadecimal started to become the favored number system. Other than the use of less symbols, which leads to less errors, there weren't really any special advantages that octal had over hexadecimal. In fact, there was one big problem, humans find it hard to distinguish between octal and decimal. Binary is generally easy to spot because they're always strings of ones and zeros. Hexadecimal is a bit harder, but seeing a letter in your number is a pretty good tip-off. However, because octal and decimal share many of the same digits, it's often hard to tell if a number is octal or decimal, which led to no end of frustration while researching this video. All of these other number systems have begged the question, why do we even use decimal? Binary and hexadecimal seem much more fundamental somehow. And it's true, using decimal as our system is quite arbitrary. In fact, the reason we use it isn't mathematical, it's biological. Humans have 10 fingers, hence base 10. For the same reason, some cultures use octal, presumably because they didn't count with their thumbs, leaving 8 fingers. Like decimal, the binary, octal, and hexadecimal number systems use place value notation. Binary, or base 2, uses only ones and zeros. It's fundamental to computing because it can be stored and transmitted in many ways electronic, visual, audio, you name it. Hexadecimal, and octal to a lesser extent, are used both because they are easier to remember than binary and because they mesh well with binary. Hexadecimal is base 16 and octal is base 8. Though all of these number systems have advantages, decimal isn't going anywhere anytime soon.